plaintiff, David Johnston, says the defendant is his father. And after he divorced David's mother, he disappeared. As a result, David claims he became a full-blown drug addict by the age of 15 and was in and out of jail. And he's suing his father today for breach of contract. Defendant Thomas Johnston insists he never abandoned David. And in fact, he allowed David to live with him when he was 14 years old. Thomas denies owing David for anything. Start with you. Okay, well, we'll start with a little background. Um, this is my father, um, age 10. My mom and my dad divorced. Became a very absent part of me and my brother's lives. Um, age of 13, you know, dad's not there. I'm watching my mother struggle, pay bills, feed me and my brothers. So I resorted to doing things that a 13 year old shouldn't do. Go ahead. I started uh, dealing drugs and using drugs. Um, by the time, by the age of 15, I was a full blown drug addict. What type of drug? Uh, every, methamphetamines, cocaine, marijuana, a LSD, whatever I could get my hands on, pills. By the time I was 17, about 18, I picked up my first felony where it got put on probation. Maybe less than a year later, I picked up another felony charge for possession of drugs. Seven years ago, I got caught again. I got a, I got caught in another county in, in Southern Alabama. And for what? A possession controlled sus substance and pistol and what commission type? of a felony. What type of drugs? Uh, methamphetamines. Were you selling? Yes, at that point in time I was. How old were you then? Seven, Seven years, years ago, ago, I was 33. When I got the possession methamphetamines, and uh, I was with my second wife, and I, I entered into a program in that county, drug court program in that county, and I decided to actually clean up and do right. Now I'm seven years clean from methamphetamines. Good, from good to hear. And but, that still wasn't the, that still wasn't the end of it. I did pick up another charge. I, it was another situation. I picked up another charge. <laughs> Sir, could you give me some background? Your Honor, thank you. Uh, you know, when uh, a couple divorces, there's always three sides. There's my side, her side, and the right side. There's never any easy answer to uh, you know to the what's going to happen with the children af afterwards. And uh, I never abandoned them. Uh, in actual sure fact, that way. in in actual in actual fact, uh, I think he the drugs might have had an impact because <laughs> at age 14, uh, he came to live with uh, me and my second wife for nearly uh, for over half a year. His grades were brought up to a C average, and then all of a sudden it, that summer came of uh, you know when he was going to turn 15. His his birthday is August 22nd. And uh, he gets calls from his brother saying that, you know, if you come back here to Alabama, you can get your learner's permit at 15. Well, in the state of Nevada, you can't get a learner's permit at, at 15. You ha it has to be 15 and a half. So he, dis he chose to move back to, uh, uh, to Alabama so that he could get his learner's permit. And he of just course, preferred Alabama over Vegas. I, I, I guess so. I love Alabama. <laughs> but, I've been uh, there at least five times in the last probably three months. <laughs> I've been to Huntsville twice. I uh, spoke at Oakwood University College. The other one, I spoke at uh, uh, Alabama A&M, which is also I in Huntsville. Another visit in Alabama. I think I took a visit there to go through the Civil Rights Museum mm -hmm. there in Montgomery. Uh, my uncle, my aunt, uh, also marched in the, uh, uh, from Montgomery into uh, Selma. That's the other place I went. Yeah. I went to Selma for the, I think it's the 50th anniversary march. That's correct. All right, tell me how he owes you, sir. Okay, well, on August of 2017, I went from law, I went from Alabama to Wilmington, Delaware, go up there for my dad to get married. Prior to that, how much had he been in your life? When my children, when my last group of four children was born, he became an excellent grandfather. I have no problem with that. My kids love him. 
How often did you see him? Uh, a few times a year because the head company I worked for, their head office is in, is in Mobile, Alabama. So whenever I would get down there, in fact, my granddaughter was just up uh, with us in, uh, in uh, where I live in Pennsylvania for three weeks. I'm talking about all the years he was growing up. No, because if there's no there, father in a boy's life, <laughs> the majority of them go to jail. They well, have some encounter was, with the well, justice your, system. Your Honor, That's a fact. I, I, I have to admit that there were times where I, I was absent, but not out of choice. You couldn't call him? I, there was a no, phone, phone was off? I did not have valid telephone numbers. I tried to reach out through my brother That's a wrong. number of times. And did there you were pay child some... support? What, excuse me? No. Did you pay child yes, support? I did. <laughs> yes, I did. No, you did not. Okay, yes, so you I knew did. where he lived. <laughs> yes. No, not always. They, they so you didn't from, always pay child support? Y yes, I did. No. What and how if you didn't know where he lived? They were moving from Atlanta down to Mobile. And so, yes, we did. Did No, he didn't. All right, let's get to today's uh, claim. On August 2017, we went up there. To, uh, we went from Mobile, Alabama to Wilmington, Delaware for my dad's marriage. And the agreements, we had been talking about it for a while, about me coming up there. I, I own it, me and my oldest brother own a construction company. That's what I did when I got clean. He kept saying, I wish you could come up here and do the work. I wish you could come up here and do the work. I said, well, I can. I would message my dad, dad, we need to talk about financials on this. And for the first couple times, it was, oh, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Just come up here, take care of what needs to be done and I'll pay you. So me and my wife, my kids and my employee, we loaded up, went to Delaware. Well. We get there, we're, we're there, we're talking, we're all having a talk, my uncle's there, everybody's there in the room and we're talking about the work that needs to be done on the house. And my dad comes out with a budget. Now this is a three story house, ceilings, walls, bay, trim, everything needs to be painted, needs sheetrock work. A lot of work needs to be done. The house needs to be cleared out first because there was so, there was 20 something years of stuff piled and packed in this house. We're talking, my dad tells me I have a, he has a budget of two or $3,000 to do the job. I look at my dad and I was like, there's no way you can't even get the, you can't even get the house cleared out for two or $3,000. You can't get the, the painting on What this. was agreed upon? I had two estimates. I went off of the two estimates and based that on all the work. Yeah, but what did you all agree on? 10,000. Which estimate, 10,000? Yes, sir. And you I, completed all the work? Yes, sir. And how much did you receive from him? I received 3,700. What has he told you? He's poor. I'm cash poor. I'm, I'm, I don't have the money. You, you didn't tell him you got plenty of money. You didn't give us any child support. <laughs> I, I, you I, should I, I have mean, plenty of money. But, and, and you also just got a new house in one of the most expensive parts of Southern Alabama. All this, and I even reduced the price and, and asked him, if you just pay me this much, we'll call it even. Let me hear from him. Sir? It's my wife is purchasing the house. She's selling her house that we moved into when I got married. Sir, do you know we have you on tape? So when That's your correct. wife divorces you, you can't get a dime because you just said everything is hers. Ab ab absolutely, <laughs> Your Honor. Absolutely. The I, agreement and the amount you've paid thus there was, far. There was, there was no agreement. Okay. What do you mean? There was no, there was no written agreement. There was no agreement on any amount. What did you tell him to just he come and paint my that, house okay, in and no. out, repair my whole Judge, home, your honor, and I'll throw you something here and there? Your Honor, <laughs> when, he, when he came up, he went out and uh, con contacted two uh, construction people. He told me what those estimates were, and I told him, I said, son, I can't pay you that type of money. And I, I told him specifically at that time, I said, listen, when I sell my house, you know, I, you know, then I will try to sit down and we'll work things out. I thought that I was going to get a large amount of money out of the sale of my house in Delaware. I wound up losing $40,000 or actually $38,000 on the sale of the house. And, and, and so I told him here lately, yes, I'm cash poor. Your you Honor, told me he said, house. he said, okay. And I told him, I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here. I'm going to clear out this house. I'm going to pull everything out, move everybody's stuff out, evict everybody in his house that he didn't want there, and then turn around and do all of this work. The whole time I'm in there doing this work, Judge, mm -hmm. I'm getting fight back from the people that are living there, they're pushing back. I'm getting screamed and hollered at. I'm having to lock doors while I sleep. I had to basically 
hold my pistol at my side with my nephew and his best friend. That's for the minutes you made when you were in the street. So, <laughs> sir. Well, no, they were, they were coming over there to jump on me. Sir, if you had had that work performed by a different okay. contractor, how much do you think you would have had to pay? Honor, I don't know. Okay, I well, if to, you don't know, have, why wouldn't you take his okay. word? But I felt that since he was my son, <laughs> that I would get cut a break for him he coming is, up. Yeah, and he felt that since he was your he son, he would get his child support for the 18 years. He is getting a break, sir. Around. You need no. to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't go on your feelings. Right. You say you have a feeling. Right. And well, you feel felt right. that you shouldn't have to because he is your son. Right. He made no allowance for being your son. And so therefore you pay him market price. I'm gonna grant you your $3,900 based on those facts. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. I, I may not like him right now, but I'll always love him as my son. And you know, that will never change. I don't know. Um... He can always have a relationship with my children. Maybe me and him can hash this out one day, but right now, I don't know.